All right, so the race here today is coming from uh, the Nürburgring Sprint Striking. We're starting ninth. We'll just jump right to it. Heading down into turn one. The green car on the outside is the uh, pole sitter. Trying to keep it safe. Normal stuff to turn one. Somebody looped it there. Little side by side here. We're gonna cross over to take a defensive line. That seemed a little bit aggressive to me, so I was just thinking we'd be a little bit careful with this guy. Seems like quite defensive but somebody else lost it there some of these camera angles is quite long uh, let's go ahead and back that up and we'll do a different angle for the start here because it's kind of some of the most interesting stuff usually uh, so let's go with the maybe far chase or regular chase. All right. Didn't get the greatest launch. I got to fix my um, analog clutch setup to get a better launch, but it was just okay. I just launched at about 4,000 RPM. Just trying to keep it super safe. I know at this point there's a car to my inside. I don't know exactly where. the car that looped it there. This is the crossover mode I was talking about here. Uh, I wasn't real super happy with it just because it was right close to the braking zone so uh, I could easily have collected us both if, you, if I would have stayed to the inside because you'd basically swerving right in front of me and then nailing the brakes. Uh, but luckily I crossed back over to the racing line and we all lived. Uh, there's that BP car sliding off around the outside. Kind of a weird spot to lose it. Um, you're flat out through there, so I'm not sure how you lose it. Coming into the braking zone, into this uh, uh, chicane here, uh, I was definitely faster than these two guys, but didn't want to be too risky on lap one. Um, that was a leader, uh, or the, the, the top qualifier just went off there on the outside. Maybe we should back up and see how he did that. Um, so this is uh, Henry. Yeah, somehow he loses it out here. He must have messed it up in the chicane. So normally you get it on the brakes about the 100 marker. Uh, we'll go full speed. He got on the brakes a little bit late, hard, good. Oh, he lost and then overcorrected. He took a little too much of that inside curb on the right-hander and then overcorrected, uh, but recovered nicely. Lost about five spots, but kept a cool head. So let's ride along with him for a minute. I, I noticed in uh, practice he set like a 140.3, so I knew he was going to be he was going to be tough. Um, 140.1 or something. Dispatches to that guy pretty easily. Switch cameras here. We'll go camera two. So 
So we got a gaggle of cars uh, here. And so this is, uh, I was happy to see it. Often uh, these races get spread out a lot more, a lot quicker. So to have some tight running still on lap two with like, what was that seven cars within probably two seconds? Uh, that's fun. So I go to make a move on the uh, on the 12 car under braking, getting into the chicane. And the one car thinks about coming with me, but decides to uh, wait for a better spot. Just tries to get him on exit there. Go to a wider camera angle here. So here's going into that 180 degree turn that leads onto the front straight. Uh, camera angle too wide. Oof. Oof, somebody lost it ugly. Uh, might have had some contact there. Oh, no, he just he was really wide and lost it in the gravel there. This um, car here. Uh, yeah, that was all on his own. So he's three wide battling for the lead here. You got the green car, the the, the guy who was pole sitter now and sitting in sixth. Um, everybody runs a little bit deep in there, but it's still a reasonably fast line. We didn't lose time. Everybody's keeping it pretty clean. Now we're on this little short shoot here. We go three wide for a second here. A red car could have put us four wide there. I know I got somebody to my inside. I think it's the green car, the pole sitter. So I make sure to leave space because I don't want to chop down on his nose. Because when they're behind you, you can kind of pick them up in the mirror. But when they get alongside you, uh, you're a little bit blind to it. If you, unless you turn your head quite a bit. And I just try not to do that because I lose my orientation a little bit. And I sometimes change the angle of the steering wheel when turning my head a tiny a bit. So uh, anyway, now we're going up to the, the chicane. I take defensive line. I'm staying to the inside. Uh, the one car takes a regular racing line. And then he stuffs it up the inside right here. Uh, getting a better run out of that chicane since he had a uh, a better line through there. I had that defensive line. Um, so now he's got the the inside coming up the straightaway. But we're not making it easy. That golf car, the guy that's in the lead, his car, in my view, was like bouncing around a lot, like he was having connection problems or something. So I, I, I kept seeing him like fly in from the sky is a strange uh, thing. So if you see any like weird effects or sounds, that's probably what it is. Uh, not leaving the one car much room on the outside there. Uh, so he had got the run up the in the green car had gotten the run on us kind of up the inside down the front straight, but basically wasn't able to pull it off through the uh, turn two, three, four complex. He was a little bit quicker through here. I felt like uh, yeah, he got on throttle a little bit quicker. The green car did um, through that dip, kind of odd section. Um, I'm definitely running a little bit defensive here. Again, I chose the um, the inside for the next upcoming turn, so I'm, I'm leaving him. It was the inside through that turn, but it's going to be the outside coming right here. Um, and under braking, I back out of it, kind of rightly so. He he had it. Uh, but we're still top four, uh, really close together. And this is on the end of lap four here. Uh, it's a pretty amazing race for a random official race. Like, don't normally see... Uh, this many cars, this competitive. I'm trying to just follow the green car through here. I think he's on a pretty good line. Uh, oh, and I, we touched me and that, that golf livery car touched there. Let's analyze that for a second. See if we can see who's at fault here. Uh, 
Um, so let's go, let's go uh, chase view. We'll go slow motion here. I think from that angle, I think I'm in the clear. Uh, I left him enough room. He drifted out right there, which is really easy to do. That that turn is tough, and it, it's um, you're coming up over a rise, so your car wants to push out wide. So if you get on the throttle early or a little bit too hard, you push out wide. Um, that's the tendency, and you can see where the car's in front of us. The same thing is happening there. Um, so, all right, let's try it. Let's look at it from his view. Uh, let's switch to cockpit view. We'll go slow-mo here. Hold on a second, Mikhail. Coming through here. Yeah, he's drifting. He, the, the, he's just um, understeering, I feel like. So at this point, he doesn't have uh, his car turned quite enough, but he's getting on the throttle. Or no, he's off the throttle. He's fading down from 67 to 63 miles an hour. So he's just understeering. His front tires are just sliding. Uh, so let's back it up a little farther. So we'll go slow-mo again. Or maybe we'll go full speed. So this is full speed. Left-hander. I don't know. I don't know if that's racing incident. Maybe just racing incident, or he's definitely he's definitely got a push. Um, so look at how much that wheel has turned. I don't know if we can see that right front. Yeah, we can't quite see it. It's hidden up in there. Oh well, uh, that happened. Uh, so so that's unfortunate. He he loses it there uh, after make a little bit of contact. I don't know. I guess I could have left him more room. I had the position though. I don't know. I tried to just put that out of my mind, get back on it. Never really lifted. So we're sitting in third, we're on lap five. This is a, I think like 15 lap race, I think. I feel like I was better under uh, braking, faster getting into that chicane, uh, but I had to, uh, I braked a little bit earlier than nor normal, still kind of got close, um, and then just uh, got out of there a little bit better chicane too, and got him going into that 180. So basically, the, the, the car behind has the advantage of the draft, but then as soon as he pulls out his own, he got to cut his own air. So we're kind of the same speed, and then he loops it. Um, and so you notice I run wide there, too. Uh, we'll go slow-mo. So I see him to my inside. I see the back of his car start to loop it right there, and I decided to go ahead and run wide just in case he spins it out wider. Hopefully it doesn't collect me in case he lifted off the brake. Because you should hold the brake to keep your car um, slowing down as you're sliding. But some people uh, lift off the brake. And if he did, he might have rolled right into me. Um, so let's look at how that looks from in-car. Uh, so uh, mind you, I don't see, I can barely see to this left edge of the of the right mirror. So I don't see as much as, as we're actually seeing right now. But 
uh, just to give you an idea. We're heading into turn one. I'll do slow-mo. Uh, so he's to my inside somewhere right here, to the inside somewhere. I see his nose there. I see the rear in there. I know he's spinning, so I go ahead and turn left a little bit. You can see just a minor correction. Uh, I got her off track um, 1x for that, but I was just trying to be real careful and avoid uh, what was going on there. So uh, now we'll play it again at full speed. Okay. These two are inside there. Looks like we got the brakes a little bit later, a little bit deeper. But then... Yeah. Alright, so now we got... Uh, we're running second with no pressure from behind now. We're on lap six. Uh, Henry in front of us proceeds to just kind of slowly pull away. And I think where he's gaining ground is this turn coming up right here. He gets in here a little bit better, and I think gets back on the throttle a little bit harder and earlier than I do right here. Um, but I feel like that might have been the only place he was really making up ground. I got... I sometimes have to breathe it a little bit in here. sneeze there um and sometimes i had to breathe it through there a little bit uh but i don't think it really cost me i noticed he was a little bit later on the brakes into here when i was watching um his lap one into the chicane he was a little bit deeper uh i sometimes made a little bit of ground up on him coming into here but uh okay we're on lap six let's go ahead and switch cameras and let's go ahead and jump ahead a couple laps. Right now we're probably two and a half seconds or so behind him, uh, behind Henry. And we will jump. We're on lap eight. Um, and... Let's go ahead and... Follow along with Henry here for a second. So he, I, I saw he was fast. Ooh, he had a little bit of a moment there. I saw he was fast in the open practice before the race, and then uh, he set. Um, he got the pole, uh, and I went ahead and skipped qualifying. We just started at the back. I think I started like ninth out of ten cars or eleven cars, something like that. Um, just thought that would be more fun. Uh, he's starting to catch lap traffic here a little bit think I don't see it at the moment let's jump ahead I don't see lap traffic yet okay now we're on lap 11 <laughs> let's go ahead and speed up a little bit here let's get towards the end of lap 11 where are we here And you see the lap, the lap car pulls to the inside there. Oh no, not there. Oof. He de uh, definitely had a moment there of had the rear end sliding through there. So that's interesting. He's much more on the limit going through there. Maybe something to learn. Going through the chicane. So he's catching the lap car. Lap car pulls over, slows down. All right. Now, this is us. So now we're coming into turn one here. And lap car loops it right in turn one right in front of us. Uh, so this is a bit, a little bit hair raising. I'm like, whoa. But 
that was it. So we are running second in lap 12. We finished in the same order. Uh, we lost a little bit more time to, to uh, leader, but uh, that's basically the race. And so we finished second. So we started ninth, finished second. Had a fun run. Uh, had that one tiny bit of contact with a golf car in turn two, which I'm not sure if that was my fault or his or just a racing incident, but sorry about that. Uh, that's that. Thanks for watching.